Good evening, YouTube uh, model building community. Uh, tonight I wanted to post a little quick video of uh, obviously some more police vehicles, but uh, these are ones that are kind of special to me as these are uh, a lot of the models that my father drove during his career as a deputy sheriff and a police officer here in Southwest Ohio. Uh, the first one here is a model house resin 65 Impala wagon that's been downplayed to a Biscayne, which he actually drove in 1965, uh, a year after I was born. I can remember fondly riding in this car when uh, a couple times he would pick us up from uh, our grandparents' house and bring us home after mom got home from work. And back in those days, the, uh, the Butler County Sheriff here in Southwest Ohio provided the uh, ambulance service for the unincorporated areas of the county, which is why they drove station wagons. And in the rear of this one would have been a stretcher, which I did not have at the time I built this model for him. But I can recall him dropping the tailgate and me as, I don't know, this might have been in 66, 67, but I would climb up in there. You know, this was back in the days where you didn't have to have a seatbelt or nothing. And I would lay on that stretcher until we got back home. So I, uh, he actually found this, this model before Model House went out. I think I've probably built this close to 10 years ago. And I had a friend of mine produce me some decals of the actual decal that they used here in Butler County. And James Hickson was the sheriff that my father worked for when he drove this car. So that's uh, that's that's a pretty cool cool deal right there. So that was one of them. Bring up another one here. Now, this next one is a car that he drove when he moved to the Middletown, Ohio Police Department in 69. This is a 70 Ford. I do have a, uh, well, he has a photograph of him standing in front of this car, this exact car, in uh, my great aunt's uh, driveway in Middletown in uh, I believe it was in 70 but I was able to build this car for him as well and they did not have uh, didn't have a door decal on it all they had was police on the front fender the uh, door decal came years later And he has this in a, uh, a glass case with uh, the actual photograph in the background. Proudly displayed. Still has his uh, old badge, I believe, from, from back then. Then the next one we have... This is uh, the 78 Ford LTD from uh, Kevin, Kevin Lutz, I think, was who, the, who I bought it from. It's an old American Models resin cast. But this one was built for the Fairfield 
Township, Ohio Police Department that he moved to in 76 when when they initiated their first full-time police department. Now, over the years, this, uh, this hood's starting to warp on me a little bit. I noticed when I picked it up the other day, it's raising up here on the corner. I'm going to have to try to do something to correct that. Uh, this model is eight or nine years old. This has been around for, for a while. Uh, this was my first, uh, first dive into working with a clear lens twin sonic, which they actually had on the car and it had red and blue lenses on the inside but they alternated together you'd get one flash to the front in blue then it would rotate and you would get one flash of red on both sides but inside I don't know if you can see inside or not we've got got his hat all the radio equipment's in there I rode in this car a couple times. I remember he would he brought it home a few times and I washed it up, cleaned it all up for him. But this was uh again all resin, all resin model. It used the 70 Ford chassis and interior, which they were they were close, not much changed. But these cars they purchased new in '77. Uh, they were uh, that hood drives me nuts. They were purchased uh, from the uh, Cleveland, Ohio Police Department uh, excess cars. So they brought them down here, resprayed them white because at the time. Cleveland police was uh, spraying this car in the the lime green color, but it's uh, it's pretty much an exact copy. The interior was that shade of blue. The case that he displays this in there there is a photograph of me standing next to the car. I am uh, standing about about right here. He's over here taking the photograph at uh, his mother's house, my grandmother's house, in uh, I think it was 78, 79, somewhere along that line. And I was uh, 13 years old. He still has that photograph, and this car looks just like it, except for the fact that the one in the photograph had actual white wall tires on it. And I didn't have any white wool tires to put on it, but this is uh, what we came up with. I presented this to him at Christmas a few years back. I think, what I say, eight or nine years ago. It, it's been a while. I wish I'd put dates on them, but this brought a, brought a tear to everyone's eyes. It was uh, quite a surprise because we both knew that there was nothing available, and then I was able to hook up with Kevin and uh, got a, got my hands on one of them. It was a very good casting. Not a lot of flash, not a lot of not a lot of cleanup, and the the frame from the seventy mounted up just right. It was a it was a good kit to work on. All right, and then the the last one. The last one I have here is one that he did not actually drive, but this was a kind of a of a what if. I just built it because he needed to take up some space in the cabinet that he's got the 65 Biscayne wagon in. So this also has the uh, Sheriff Hickson's name on the on the door star. I did notice my 
decals are starting to peel away a little bit. I'm going to have to fix that for him before I take him back. Yeah, the mirror fell off. We don't, I don't know where what happened to the mirror. She's a little bit dusty, but this, uh, again, just a 65, or I'm sorry, a 56 Chevy that I thought would look neat and setting in his display case for him. And then the two, a 56 and a 65. The way he's got them sitting in his case, they, they look good sitting there with each other. And then, of course, I have the other air. I have another air for Butler County, which I have showed in the past. Was the 78 Monaco that I did and the sheriff at the time was Robert Walton his name adorns that star as well I remember seeing these cars running around the county as well uh, all the sheriff's departments in the state of Ohio uh, belong to the Ohio Sheriff's Association and all their cars for many years were black with white tops. Now they're all black again, but they all shared the same simple graphics back then. Just depending on what county you lived in, the county name would, would change and that that was basically it. But there you go. There's uh, there's some uh, model cars that I have built for my father that he proudly displays in his home. And uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks a lot.